Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take your Twitch clips and incorporate them on your live stream inside OBS Studio, or this also works with Streamlabs OBS. Uh, so your stream clips are the clips that either you create or your viewers create while you're live streaming, and they're normally, you know, little 30 second clips uh, of funny moments and stuff that happen during your stream. So what I do with them is I have a be right back screen. And a lot of times when you're on a be right back screen, let's say you need to get up and stretch for a bit, use the restroom, refill the drink, whatever the case may be, your audience retention drops off dramatically, uh, or at least it provides an opportunity for it to do so. Obviously your, your true loyal people are still going to stick around while you run and do something for five or 10 minutes. But this helps keep, if maybe somebody comes into your stream while you're on your be right back screen or anything like that. And it doesn't have to be used for a be right back screen, but that's what I found it useful for. So let me go ahead and switch over to my BRB screen and you'll see, I kind of have it see, set up crack screen. Somebody cracked my motherfucking screen like a little bitch. Yo, I'm clearing the box. Dude, I really do could use your help. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm tunnel vision. I can't see I'm tunnel vision. Fuck, I don't know where the fuck I'm at right now. I got tunnel vision. Fuck you all, I hate you all. I literally, oh God, I can't see shit. How long does this last? <gasps> oh, and then after it ends, as you can see, another one pops up instantly. Oh, it don't matter if I cheat. So let me go ahead and flip that off. And so, like I said, as you can see, right after one clip is done, another one starts playing right after that. So let's go ahead and roll the intro, and then I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, guys, so welcome back. This will be a super quick tutorial. Doesn't take very long. It's very easy to do. Uh, just requires you go into a website and setting everything up and then plug in the URL from that website as a browser source inside of OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS or, to be honest, whatever program you're using for live streaming. But before we do jump into it and I show you guys how it's done, if you if this video helps you out, if you like videos like this, uh, make sure you hit the like button below. Uh, that helps me out tremendously, helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. And if you like stream help videos like this, I do a lot of that on this channel. Uh, so make sure you get subscribed by hitting the red subscribe button below and ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and go to twitch.guru g-u-r-u -U. when we go to twitch.guru this is a website that somebody has created uh he calls himself you know or calls his site twitch guru says i'm here to help and guide you with your stream but anyways he has a couple tools here on the side panel so he has the random clip player random playlist shout out player talking hand specifically for this video what we're interested in is the random clip player so what this tool allows you to do is plug in your information, select some options, and then you'll get a URL, a link, uh, here in this box that you can then, as I said, plug into OBS or Streamlabs OBS. So for my example, it's OMG, it's Derek TV. And then the options are you can select period, and you can select... Oh, let me see. Uh, can I turn off this? You can just... Let me just mute that for now. All right. So once you have your channel name typed in, you can choose your period and you can choose whether you want it to pull clips from your Twitch channel in the last month, in the last week, or in the last 24 hours, or you can do all time, meaning it'll pull clips as, as many as you have on your channel all around like that. Then you can select whether you have the sound on or muted. Uh, so if you just want the clips to play, but you don't want there to be sound with them, you can do that. You can also choose whether there is static uh, which just adds a little bit of effect like that in between uh, the different clips before they load up instead of just a black screen. Uh, then you can also do scan lines if you want, which again is just another effect that just adds in some different scan lines and stuff into it. Kind of gives it that old VCR effect. I like the static personally, uh, but that. And then last but not least, uh, you know, on a lot of channels, any of your viewers, whether they're a subscriber, whether they've been following you for a long time, Anybody can come into a stream and start making clips. So if you're having an issue where, you know, random people are coming in and making clips of things that just aren't that funny on your stream, or, you know, maybe you have a loyal viewer that just clips stuff all the time, but what they're clipping is really not that funny. You can select usernames, Twitch usernames, 
uh, and do only clipped by. So you could maybe put your own username. Uh, you could put your mods usernames. You know, maybe those couple people that you know when they clip something, it's normally a funny clip. It's a good clip. And you only want to pull those. You can select or you can put that in this box separated by commas, the usernames. And it'll only pull clips from those users from your channel. So that's also a nice effect. Once you have all of that, uh, again, then you have right here a generated link that you can copy. And once we copy that, we're going to go ahead and go into OBS. And you can see I have my Be Right Back screen. Uh, you know, however you have yours set up doesn't matter. But I like having my chat going so people can still be, you know, see what's being said and things like that. Uh, you know, I think it also helps with engagement and, and kind of audience retention on a Be Right Back screen to have your chat. Uh, and then, you know, just as simple, you know, motion graphic in the background, the stream will be right back. But what we're interested in doing is going to our sources, clicking the plus button. And as I said, we're going to add it as a browser source. So we are going to create new browser source and we'll call it random clip player. Since that's what the tool is called, then we'll hit OK. And we're going to get this, which you might be familiar with if you use like Streamlabs uh, donation alerts or stream elements or any of those. We're going to paste our URL. We're going to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Uh, that's, you know, I, I always like to do everything the same resolution as what my stream is, even though we are going to shrink it, shrink it down. And then the last thing is you want to do this shutdown source when not visible so that when you change from one scene to another, it'll shut down this source. So you, if you don't do this, you'll keep hearing the audio. Like you'll switch off of your be our backs, be right back screen when you get back. Uh, and you'll be still hearing clips in the background. So make sure you select that uh, shutdown source when not visible. And then we're going to hit OK. So now we have it added at the top, random clip player. And all we need to do is adjust it to fit where we want it here. Something like that. I think that looks good. It looks kind of even with my stuff. I think something like that right there. Maybe make it a little larger actually if we can get it positioned and then i want to drag it down just a little bit so that's below some of my other stuff and boom there we go there you have it it's really that easy so hopefully this helped you guys out if it did like i said leave a like down below that helps me out tremendously also like i said get subscribed to the channel for uh you know more videos like this that helps out other live streamers Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.